back to tutorials and in this video i'm going to show you example of get method and how we can use that get method in servlet so what we will do is create one project here dynamic project and then we will name this project as get example the project name will be get example okay and then next next and then we will generate this configuration file as well and then finally finish okay so this is our get example now what we will do let's create one servlet file here new and then servlet so we will name it as get ex class name will be get ex okay get example just this i'm putting here short form and then next next again here we will take this get method we don't need this for the time being so now click on finish so guys finally this has been created get x java now when we run it for running what we need to do run on server and then select this it says that it will restart the server that's fine okay so finally server at get example this one is showing because here you can see one code respond dot get right get writer and then append and this one is server this one is showing so what we need just double click on this and then once again we will write here response dot set content type here response dot set content type what will be here text and then HTML right and then here print writer then out equals to response dot get writer and here once again for testing purpose we will put here double double quote over here hello so we'll check if this one is get writer respond dot get writer actually it will be not here it will be out dot write here so for testing purpose let's put here hello then we will pass the value from we will create a JSP file and we will pass the value right so now let's check here there is something wrong there print it out respond dot get writer and then out dot write let's save it Let's run again and check. Oh, there is a mistake here. Text HTML TEXT. That's why. Now let's open again. Okay, so this hello is displaying. But what we want is that we 
want to display the value from here so let's go to src and then main and then web app this one now right click on this and new and then file and finally this jsp file so name it as index.jsp and then next and finish so what we will do here we will write get example and then here we will create one form so i have ready the code let me paste so guys this is input type text name first name remember there is underscore same way here will be input type this is last name last name and then here as well will be last name okay this is first name and this is last name and finally submit so when we will submit this two data we will capture the data here okay but before that let's see when we click on this one so before that let's run it okay go to run on server and then let's see the magic okay this is our phone but before that we need to pass action so what we will put in action this class name we will put in action okay here in action so now let's refresh it and then let, let's write something and try to submit so guys you can see the hello is displaying that means but what we want this first name and last name value we want to display here so what we need to write let's go to our editor here and then let's go to our file so let's comment it out and then we will write here first it's not okay. first string first name equals to request request dot get parameter and then inside this we will write our field name that is first name semicolon and similarly we will get here last name as well so name it as last name and get request and here will be last name as well now here we will write your name is and then plus first name first name double quote some space and then plus and then last name this one right so in here of course will be plus right so when we will submit from here when we will submit from here it should display our name so right here umar and then rahman click on submit so guys it is displaying umar but it is showing null why because must be last name last name get parameter last name so i guess here is something wrong this capital or small l last name okay first name last name first name last name so let's refresh and check again last name it's number yes now it's displaying fine i think there was case sensitive problem that's why it was not showing so first name and last name so guys let's see how it is passing this first name last name we are passing the value and we are 
capturing the value from here get request dot get parameter and where where did this request came this request came from here and response came from here okay so first we set the content type and then uh, this is the function for printing out displaying the value and finally we are capturing these two value and then out of this object we are displaying here first name last name so what happens guys in get method we need to write here get if you don't specify anything then by default it takes get so in get method what happens the data is passed through browser through this browser the data is passed okay but this is not secure because if you pass any sensitive data for example credit card or uh, password in that case everyone can see and read from the browser so for this we will use post method in the next example i will show you how to use post method in server level so that's in the video and see you in the next video stay connected and in the meantime if you have not subscribed my channel then i will request you to subscribe and also uh, press the bell button and apart from that please write your experience in the comment box so that i can improve this video so thank you for watching bye bye see you in the next video friends in this chapter you have learned about get method and in this new one we will use post method but before we uh, start any project what i would like to show you here is that if we put here one more field called password password and input type password and here will be of course password right so now let's run this project and check password password now let's run the project and see and then click on this finish so we will see why always we should not use get method there is a limitation for example here umar rahman password 1 2 3 4 5 6 whatever so submit and then the problem is that here you can see the password is visible which is not right at all right so normally get method is used when when you need to pass id or the information which is not sensitive or which is not secret so in case if you want to pass secret information like credit card information or password etc in that case get method is not preferable so guys in this chapter we will see how to use the post method so let's do one thing to understand it better what i'm going to do let's do one thing we will create a new project okay so file and then new let's create here a dynamic web project so here we will name it as post example okay and then next next again and we'll generate this web.xml file also finish so this is our newly created project what we will do let's go to here src and then main and inside this we were so what we will do let's expand this and go to here the main folder and then we will now right click on this just like before we will create one new file jsp file here and then once again we will name it as index.jsp after this what we will do we will just copy from here get example so let's go to csrc and then main and then we will in the index.jsp so we will copy everything from here and then this let's just collapse this and post example so inside this we have this file we'll just copy everything just like this and what we will do just we will change it to post just we need to change here and then of course we will have to create this one this uh circulate here so what we will do let's go to here main java and then right click on this and create a new file called circulate and this time you write here uh, post this package so better create here post 
x post example okay then next and then next again here we will put uh, do post okay do post also so now it's finished so that this function will be created there so guys here you can see now we will be working on this do post method uh, no, yeah do post method okay so just comment this out here and then we will write here our code okay and we, what we will do let's go to the get text here and we have this code already written here response dot set context so there is no difference between get and post in servlet okay so what we will do we will just copy this one and paste into our post method but this time we are not going to paste the, this code into get because this one is for get method and this one is for post method so we will paste everything here inside our newly created project which is post uh, servlet this newly created servlet post text java okay here so everything will be same this one this line will be same also all these will be same because in our index.js file everything is fine the same first last password etc etc so all are same that's why here the only difference will be the code will be this time inside the post method so guys let's start this project uh, run on server and let's check the magic finish and then restart the server that's fine so here we do that one two three four five six whatever password you want to keep just put it but the main thing is that you will see here when you click on submit then the data is displayed here as it is but the difference is that there is no query string and the password that we passed here is not visible neither first name and last name so whatever password you are putting here if you click on submit here you can see there is no query string in the last uh, uh, chapter you had seen that it was showing something like this first name equal to Umar and last name equal to Rahman etc etc so it was this is called query string okay after question mark whatever value is there this is called query string so guys that is the main difference between get and post the value is passed through a url and in post method the data is passed hiddenly so if you put here credit card or any sensitive information then it will be not visible hiddenly this data passes to the server that is uh, here in this case our server software is uh, a server uh, language actually we can say which is handling server software is actually apache tom there so guys that is the post method so in this video you have learned how to use get method as well as how to use post method so the main difference is in servlet in gsp this is same but in servlet so which one you get yeah this one this one is your post method in our java file or servlet file what we have if you go here in this one most example and here actually in this one the main difference is here do post rest of the things are same so guys in the next video i will show you how to use session and then after session we will learn how to do without database login register so that you will get the basics and later we will be using jdbc for mysql database in the backend so stay connected and see you in the next video thank you for watching bye bye